what one chip? more. The, the chips. The butter chips. So here are the butter chips. Let's get them in a small bag. Now, is there anything we want to add to ours mm. that so, would be different? I think we need to, to add try. a drink. Yes, banana milk. I want to try banana milk. Yes, I love banana milk. Let's go find it. so far in Korea they have like strawberry in melon melon is really good too and they have banana milk and in Korea it looks like this like this plastic thing and you just poke it it's really cool anything else uh you have you tried aloe juice mm -mm. really oh aloe juice is really good too we can get a little one I don't remember any brands in particular. I never cared for the brand in Korea, but we can try like original aloe juice. And then this one is really famous too, Milkies. It's a milk and yogurt flavor drink. Water? It's not water, it's kind of like a... Um, I don't want to be that adventurous. No, it's kind of like a um, soda. Like it, it has carbonated and it's kind of like a milkish yogurty flavor. It's, it's yummy. I like it. My son loves it. Uh, oh, I saw some interesting drinks. Let me see if there's something I want to try. I've tried most of this stuff. Oh, wow. This is interesting. It's like a coconut milk with like chunks of something. However, I'm not sure this is from Korea, first of all, and it says in Spanish with nata de coco, so it might not be Korean. It might just be here, so I'm not sure, but it does sure look good. I'll try it. Why not? All right, guys, so we're back from the store, and we brought all the snacks that we got. We got... The same snacks that Sonsini got. Oh wait, this one will look. No, you have the right one over there, the cafe, the pokey or whatever. And and this one. Oh yeah, we're trying that for there. And then we brought some other ones that we wanted to adventure. Well, because BTS is eating these look on their V lives and that. Yeah. This she explained. Mm -hmm. I like and we're going to try a different brand of the Pyro. Okay, so what order did she go in? I think she tried Choco Pies first. And if you don't like it, mad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, shoot. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to get yelled at by Jimmy. Oh, we have the drinks. Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah. So, what so, do you have? So, this one is one of my favorite drinks. I actually still buy it here in America quite often. Oh, nice. I tried it for the first time in Korea. It's aloe vera um, juice. Usually, it's not only aloe vera because aloe yeah. vera is very bitter. Oh, there's stuff It in comes it. with white grape or green, green grape. That's usually what they mix it with. There's stuff The original. In it. Yeah, it's pieces of grape yeah. and aloe vera. Aloe vera is slimy. Yeah. You might have an issue with texture. <laughs> Actually, I thought that too because I have an issue with texture, oh, but I love this stuff. So, water is number one, corn syrup is number two, aloe vera gel, honey. Citric acid, great flavor. So, so sometimes the bits are pieces of grape. Sometimes they're pieces of aloe. It depends. We I shall have see. coconut milk drink. Coconut milk, and it's got stuff floating in it too. Yes, it says with nata de coco, which is what coconut nata. I don't know what nata means <laughs> in English. Um, I don't know. 
know what they call nada in English. It looks like jelly. Nata de coco. I love how they say with nata de coco. Why do you put half in Spanish and half in English? So, and what flavor is it? Mango. Which is um, mango. <laughs> and in, in English and Spanish is the same thing. It doesn't smell any weird. That's true. It doesn't smell weird. It does smell good. But I'm not trying it. Yeah. Why does it go like this? I need to try. I'm not afraid of germs. Okay, then. Mm, not bad. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I was, and you don't, like, it's just like, okay, you're chewing on stuff. I just swallow that's everything. That's because I like to chew on stuff when it comes to the drinks. Like oh, no. I swallow it. I don't think I could handle the texture of chewing it. I can't what say what it? I was thinking. You can't say those things. Edit this. You gotta tell me. <laughs> Mel, you need to edit. <laughs> I say things she can't she sometimes. can't like say these things to me. Dirty by nature because Venezuelans are dirty. So that's not bad either. This is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tastes really good. Yeah, some of them come really watery. Oh. Or some of them come kind of bittery. No, this that one is not perfect. bad. That one's really good. The sweetness is not overpowering or stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Like an aftertaste or something like really? that. Really? Yeah, hit me. <laughs> Edit that. And this is my favorite ever JK's banana milk. Banana uyu. Milk. So if you want to know how to spell it. Do you shake it first? You can. Yes. Doesn't matter. Banana uyu. Banana milk. Ay. Sons and Neem, please correct me if I said any of this Korean wrong. I know I butcher a lot of stuff. I think you just goofed it with drama. But this one is one of my favorite drinks. In Korea. And I like strawberry milk. I don't like mm. chocolate milk that much, but I love strawberry milk. They have a good strawberry milk, and their melon milk is pretty good, too. <gasps> I like this. Mm -hmm. So my first experience with banana milk was actually pretty interesting. I was sent, I was, it was my first weekend in Korea, and my friend came and picked me up um from my room and he took me outside and we were sitting outside of 7-eleven and we were clearly foreigners i mean i'm you know i look white but i'm not white i'm hispanic and my friend was black and we were sitting outside and sometimes korean people have a fascination with black people they love them they want to take pictures with them it's kind of weird but it i get it it's not normal it's for them yeah, yeah. And we were sitting outside talking and chilling, and this Korean older person, I don't know, he might have been like 40s or 50s, just came to our table outside of 7-Eleven, placed two of these drinks right over there on the table, just bowed to us and walked away. And we were like, thank you. And I had no clue. We, we had no idea what this was. We had just come to Korea. And we were like, what What just happened? We had no idea. Is so we had to, to drink. Right. <laughs> so I had to pull out my little Google Translator. This is 2011. You know, Google Translator wasn't as advanced as it is yeah. now or anything. So I had to Google what, like, I put however I could. I took me, like, half an hour to put these words in a translator, banana uyu, and find out what it said. And then it said, oh, it says banana milk. So I guess I was like, oh, I guess he wants us to try this. And that was my first experience of trying banana milk. I Was it love at first sight? It was. <laughs> it was. As soon as I tried it, I was like, I'm going back in that store and I'm buying a whole bunch of it. And I bought a bunch and my whole time, my whole year over there, I, my fridge had banana, banana milk in it. 
That's funny. Loved it, loved it. This is my first try. I love it, I love it, I love it. But it was so interesting to me. The guy just walked away, put placed it on the table, just bowed and walked away. I expected it to be sweeter. No, it's not. I but it's it. like the sweetness of a banana. Like, that's mm-hmm. about as sweet as it is. It's really good. Yeah. I had amazing experiences over there. If I looked at it and saw yeah. it, like, in a clear, I'd probably be more turned away from it, though. No, no. It looks really good. It looks just like this. Yeah. I'm yeah. a visual person, though. Really? So, like, if milk is supposed to be white, I want it to be white. Oh, it's not right. milk, but I understand that. But it's and banana I know, milk. I know. So I know. Yellow. Same thing. I know. <laughs> It's a weird thing. I'm not saying I'm normal. <laughs> I'm an oddball. I'm okay with admitting that. But I had amazing experiences over there. Um, honestly, like, I was once on the train, also 2011, I think, or 2012. And I was headed to down south to Osan area. And this lady just kept feeding me tangerines. <laughs> she didn't speak a lick of English. I didn't speak any Korean. And I was just sitting there and she just sorry, I grabbed tangerine and I was like, Thank you and I ate it and then she just gave me another, another one. one and I was like, Okay, <laughs> thank you and so they were really some of them are really, really, really kind to American kids. I put them all in there for you. No, 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 no. I mean, keep some. It's okay. I'm traveling soon, so I just I know, but you have a wing here. Okay. I'm not going to fight it. Don't argue. I'm not going to fight it <laughs> at all. Because my kids probably won't drink it. Really? So it'd just be me, and that's fine. I don't want to share, so. <laughs> I don't have a problem with this at all. Mm-hmm. See, that's why it's good having kids who have no clue about what I'm into or why. They'd be like, ew, mom, why are you bringing home sushi? I'm like, it's good. When why I buy it, my they kid. might eat this, though. They might eat the, the sweet. My kid is the odd one out. He loves this kind of... Well, he lived in Korea for two years, so... Um, I bought this stuff all the time. And it, he was like seven, six and seven or something, so... It was right at the age where you don't have a choice what you're going to eat, dude. <laughs> Whatever I put in front of you, you eat. And he loves a lot of the food from over there. But he also loves... He's 10 now. He loves broccoli. Loves oh, broccoli. Awesome. Nice. And he loves lentils. Nice. So... A lot of his friends or his fam- friends' families are always like, how do you get to your kid to eat like salad and why does he like this thing? See, that was the funny I don't thing. know why My girls likes liked salad when they were younger. Yeah. They loved it. They would eat that over sweets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my son is, he, sometimes in breakfast, he's like, can I have lentils? I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's like a kid asking for uh, oatmeal. Yeah. Like, they don't do that anymore. So my kid is just as weird as I am, y'all. What was your least favorite sweet? The chocolate bar. I'm going to have to say that was mine too. What mm-hmm. was your least favorite flavor? The Kim. Yeah, the this. I was mm-hmm. chocolate bars too. Yeah. It's a weird flavor. Mm, it is. It's I not think something that I would be like, garlic this is flavor, gross, I'd probably like. Because seaweed seems to take on the flavor of whatever you're putting yeah. on it. So did you see mm-hmm. that at the store? Oh, they had wasabi. They no, they also food. had a sour cream, sour and onion. Oh, did what they? What is it? Onion and sour. Oh, uh, onion and sour cream. Yeah, something like that. The ones that they put the dip on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had a flavor like that, and I saw it, and I didn't think about it. Oh, that would have probably that probably better. would have been better. Yeah, it's not a bad flavor. It's just no. something I, if it was at a place and somebody offered me, I'll take one or two. Yeah, but it's not something I would be like, let me buy this because I yeah. want to like it. Because I'm the same way. Because seafood, I mean, seaweed doesn't seem to me, like when I eat it with sushi and stuff, have mm-hmm. its own flavor. It seems to take on the flavors of everything mm-hmm. else you're eating. Yeah. Or it has like a ty- uh, dash of like a bittery flavor to it or a fishy flavor yeah, to it. Yeah, but it's whatever the seasonings on it that I don't like. When we go out to eat, like mm-hmm. uh, especially when we go to like a, a all-you-can-eat place, buffet, we get some really outrageous stuff and make the girls try it. We've done frog, frog legs. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I've octopus. never tried that. Oh, I love, op- love octopus. Well, yeah, they never tried it before. Mm. I love octopus. But I think I have to say the weirdest thing I've ever tried was the, the fried crickets. So that was weird. And see, I, I, I'm adventurous when I eat. I don't mind trying stuff that's like absolutely crazy weird. Listen, I was drunk. 
when I was 20 something, I did not want to leave the food over there on the floor. Oh yeah. I turned around. Right <laughs> but it was actually not bad. It just tasted like very, very crispy bacon. Yeah. Mm. I just, and it's really weird too. There are carts, carts full, 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 full of like fried crickets. So you're like, this does not look appetizing at all. I'm not going to lie. And the funny thing is in Japanese culture, which I know is not Korea, crickets, aren't they like, I don't want to say sacred, but they're good luck, aren't they? I don't know how much luck according, I was going to get at the time, but I was to, not according to, Mulan, <laughs> according to Mulan, they're lucky. I was not interested in any luck back then. <laughs> I was like, this does nope. not look appetizing at all, y'all. <laughs> how would you do on fear factor? I would do okay. Just don't give me any scorpions. Really? Hmm. That's my phobia. I'm alright with anything else. I don't mind scorpions. I grew up with them. I've been stung by one. Yeah, I I almost got stung by a black one on my pillow when I was younger. When you were in Venezuela? Mm, in Venezuela, we have really venomous scorpions. And it was I was laying on bed, and we had like this house up in the mountains. It was very cold and humid. And I was sleeping, and I woke up, and I turned around, and there was like this black scorpion on my pillow. And ever Ours since, I kind of had... Brown ones. I don't know, this was like a black scorpion. And so ever since I had this phobia of like, in, in Venezuela, you always have to like check your shoes. And oh, there's yeah. a certain time of the year where it gets more humid and damp and stuff that they tell you, you have to smack your shoes. You have to do this certain That's thing. the same because, in Arizona where I yeah. grew up. You had to do that so, for spiders and stuff. Right. And, so and like, because of that, I have this like, my phobia is not as bad as it used to. It used to be where even if I saw a picture, I would get chills and just oh, really? be like, oh my God, oh my God. Now I can see a picture and kind of get creeped out, but it's not as bad as it used to be. I don't have any. But I really no don't No fears, mind. no phobias. I don't care. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, really? Mm. I was, and, and, and flying. Now, I don't like flying. The funny thing is, when Ka when my oldest was like maybe two, my uh, mother-in-law, we were out somewhere, I remember, and she wanted to go on this huge, like giant Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. But I can't it had do open that. sides. I have no problem doing it by myself, but we were all going to go as a family, and it terrified me to take my two-year-old up there, who was a crazy child. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this. And my husband's like, what's wrong? I'm like, babe, I can just, in my mind, picture my daughter doing oh, this mom. thing. I don't like this idea. He's like, oh, it'd be fine. So we did it, and everything turned out fine, but I was terrified the whole time for her, not me. I don't care. I don't like heights. I can't do amusement parks. <sighs> I love roller coasters. MJ Hope, y'all. Can't do it. Can't do it. Cedar Point, he, best roller coasters. He is more, um, he has more courage than I do. Now, as I got older, last time we went to Cedar Point, because my husband's from Ohio, so we go there a lot. Mm. The older roller coasters that aren't as smooth, like some of the old wooden ones, I got off of those as sore. Like, I just got it in the crap 10 out of rounds me. with Mike Tyson. Like, beat up. Uh -uh. I was like, I don't know if I could do this anymore. And I'm thinking it's roller coasters in general. I'm okay with roller coasters no. riding them. Mm -mm. The, even, like, I'm scared of flying. I'm, I do okay. I used to be extremely terrified. Now I'm okay. I think it's a control issue. Oh, yeah. I don't know where he's going. I don't know when he's stopping. Like, I don't know. I can't see what he's doing, the pilot. So it kind of freaks me out. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking a lot. Yeah. <laughs> People are learning about us. But, yeah. I don't have any. I'm very easy. But Sunset Nam is afraid of. I found out she's terrified of. Um, Snakes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. She saw a picture of me and my son holding a big snake, and she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, really? And she freaked out. She oh. was really, really afraid of I used to go out snakes catching snakes with my brother. I don't catch them. No, they were racers. Wrong. Like, so I'm not about to go and try to figure out. Mm -mm. And I went actively go kill a baby rattlesnake. I'm good. But if I, if somebody's holding it and they're like, hey, it's not venomous, I'll, I'll check it out. Okay. 
Well, one of my husband's soldiers a couple years ago when they went to Afghanistan, she had nobody to watch her eight foot um, python. No, I'm the. I mean, I'm so, not that adventurous. <laughs> I brought it home. Took care of it for a year. It was oh awesome. God. Didn't bother me. The the live rat that got a got out in my car from its little cardboard cage. That freaked me out more because I'm like, okay, if this sucker bites me, I swear to God, I'm running it over with my car. <laughs> oh my God. But other than that, I didn't mind tossing it in until we were watching the snake, you know, we were watching it eat. And so we're all around the snake cage. And when the, the rat's on this side of the cage, we're over, we're on this side. And he comes and goes after it. This way you jump back because you're, he's jumping at you. And I was like, okay, that was an interesting experience. Other than that, I, I think it's things. more with me, it's like the element of surprise. <clears throat> I'm not yeah. scared of a spider, but if I turn around and the thing is there, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the same way with yeah. things. Like, if I, I'm not, I don't mind bugs, but if something like smacks me in the forehead, I'm like, okay, what was I'm that? I'm going to jump and be like, what the heck? It was that. Yeah, I'm the same, same way. Same with the heck? Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I say. That's it. Let me tell you, we were in Afghanistan. And suddenly we hear, Animal spiders? yes, we hear this, ah! but it's like so loud and so like, it sounded very like almost a girl screaming, right? So we all <laughs> ran outside. It was our male lieutenant, oh. like yelled, like he screamed because this camel spider fell from the roof and he was typing and it fell on his keyboard. <laughs> and he's went, ah! <laughs> So, I did a report when I was doing public speaking in college called spiders. Camel spider was one of my things that I talked about. Technically not a spider. True. It's part of the tick family. Yes, they I jump. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it attaches itself to a camel. So, mm -hmm. And it also has a very high jump because it's got to get from the ground to the camel. And uh, they, they, they're venom, I guess. It's not really venom, but it, it numbs the area so they mm -hmm. don't feel it biting them. And I'm like, well, that's interesting, but they are not a spider. Yeah, and they can get really big. Oh, they can get huge. That like one wasn't as big. It was, I don't know, like, that's big. It's still pretty big. But it scared the crap out of him, and it was cold there. <laughs> we thought it was, it was only two females in that, in, that, in that place where we stayed. It was just the two of us females, and then everybody else was males. It was five, seven of us. So when we heard somebody yell, and it sounded like a girl... Us two girls looked at each other like, who's well, yelling? <laughs> because you're here and I'm here, so what's going on? <laughs> so we went running outside, and he was like, oh, my God. Did you <laughs> give him a hard time about it? Oh, after? yeah. Yeah, definitely. You have to. That became the joke for, like, a few months after. <laughs> yeah. About how early my husband, it. they said they used to put the camel spider in with other animals and see who would win. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never had that kind of time. <laughs> My husband's with a bunch of idiots. <laughs> He's one of them. So they just did. Edit. Edit. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I cussed again. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Being crazy and chaotic. It was fun though. Thanks, guys. Go find some banana uyu. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You will not regret it. Mm -mm. Mine's gone. Nothing left in there. I you can keep it. that. I'll take that. <laughs> she wants me to keep the coconut thing, but she's going to take the olive juice. I told her it was good. She was My afraid. girls are going to look at me like I'm crazy for drinking that, though. <laughs>